Well, aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to today's live stream. My name is Master Paul. It is the 26th of February, 2018, and it's a Monday. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. I had a pretty good weekend. I was able to get a lot done and uh, enjoy being with Master Rulin here in Honolulu. She taught the Tao Science related to flourishing. It was actually a very very good um, workshop <clears throat> and uh, I'd recommend do a little pitch for her this little book here it's called divine love and in it there is some secrets about how to uh, position your mind in the right way to receive unlimited financial abundance <clears throat> great little book of course as with everything you have to apply the wisdom so other than that it's just <laughs> information Wisdom is information applied. So anyway, I, had, I enjoyed that workshop. So I'm back and I'm here to serve you. For those that are just tuning in, uh, this workshop will be, workshop, excuse me, this uh, live stream will be uh, a very short teaching on the Rand and Do Meridians for Balancing Health. Uh, in the teachings of Master Shah, <clears throat> I apply his wisdom teachings and include the soul wisdom to assist us to put it all together and do practices to help us improve our health and wellness, um, clear blockages related to all things, not just physical health. But today I'll be focusing on the positive impacts for physical health associated with these meridians. <clears throat> actually taught aspects of this yesterday uh, to an advanced workshop that uh, I teach on Sunday mornings I just completed the the fifth week of a of a five session advanced uh, series and so you'll probably hear more about that later as I reopen that workshop but it was it was uh, great because I was able to revisit some of Master Shaw's earlier books I got the information I'm working with today is out of this book soul mind body medicine and uh, so you can work with that if you'd like and I'll share with you some things. Now, the, the information I'll be sharing uh, is combined information from traditional, from traditional Eastern medicine, TCM. Uh, acupuncturists are familiar with these meridians. And then um, I'll be sharing with you some aspects from his book and how he represented it and the practice that he suggests incorporating the four powers in soul power to get a better value and mileage out of this ancient information so thank you all for coming and thank you also for hitting on the share button letting other people know about today I'm going to do one thing here do, 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 do. give me just a moment please there we go Okay, so let's see who's joined us today. So welcome, uh, Linnea. Welcome also to Monica. Aloha and welcome to Lisa Carter and Lisa Prado. Welcome, Lorraine. Aloha also to, uh, to Spirit Helper. And welcome to Paula Hyatt. Aloha, Erica. Aloha, welcome to Kristen Strachan and M.A. Drade. Welcome, Lisa Zarniak. Welcome also, Phyllis uh, and Heather McNee. Welcome, Kathy Arnold. Aloha, Zilke. Welcome, Lindsay Lee or Leigh. Welcome, Yolanda. Welcome also to Kristen Rojas. Aloha, Tatiana. Welcome, Trina Jeffries. Welcome also uh, to Candace Cheeks and Christina Thorson. Welcome, Sharon Dodd. Aloha and welcome, William Schramm. Welcome, Pat. Welcome, Becky Lepav. Welcome, Joanna. Welcome also to Dimple and Penelope Hinshaw. And welcome also to Jenny Johansson and Shama Noran Chahadri. Maybe I didn't say that right. I'll do the best I can. And Aloha, Vanessa. So thank you for joining. Thank you for clicking on the share button. <clears throat> I'm going to prepare 
for today, as I always do, by connecting heart to heart and soul to soul. Let's place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. <coughs> Excuse me. Welcome also to Pretty. Drop the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand remains pointed towards heaven. This is called the soul light, soul service, hand position. For those that are unfamiliar, and I'm going to call in the beings of light and ask them to be present to serve us. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine Tao source, all of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, lamas, sifus, gurus, saints, buddhas, bodhisattvas, angels, healing angels, archangels, <coughs> masters and ascendant masters, to the soul of our own soul, we love you all, honor you all, appreciate you all, and invite you to be present at this time. We ask for your guidance, your wisdom, and your blessings throughout today's practice to help us release blockages in whatever way is most appropriate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the soul of love, peace, and harmony, source soul song, we love you, honor you, respect you. We ask you to please turn on. And as I chant love, peace, and harmony, we ask that you bless all of the souls on the line to help clear our blockages and open our hearts and souls. We invite all souls and all universes to come and to join with us at this time and to help spread the word of love, peace, and harmony to make a difference on the planet. <clears throat> so for those that are new or just joining for the first time, either now or by this coming across your stream someplace, this is a mantra. It is a healing mantra. It has been translated into over 40 languages. Uh, if you follow Kristen Rojas' posts, she, she always uh, supports me on these live chat. And she will show you the words that I'll be chanting. Most of the students are chanting along with me. And then also um, there is a link that you can follow to download this song. And it is ask that you share it far and wide with as many souls as possible as a service to humanity. <coughs> so welcome also to Sally Francis. Julie Abbott, welcome Carol Whitney, welcome also to um, any other souls I may have missed. So let us chant, let us serve. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula. Lula, 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 Song I ping on her share. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Joy hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <clears throat> and in Master Shaw's teaching, we say, how, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. How is a Mandarin Chinese word that means complete, perfect, get well. It can mean several things. And we say thank you three times. The first thank you is to our creator. The second thank you is to all the beings of light who have come to offer their service today. The third thank you is to our own soul. <clears throat> so again, thank you everybody for joining. And it is a service to, to come. It is a service to every soul when you're present. Because as you self-heal, you are affecting the whole. It's no different than <clears throat> if cells in a, in a dish uh, are impacted in negatively by something, and then all of a sudden you put into the dish uh, positive energy or things that help that cell, then it will help all the cells. So we're all one. So anything we do for ourselves helps all of us. And that includes sharing this wisdom. Uh, not my wisdom. I share Master Shah's wisdom. 
So advising other people about this wisdom, this teacher, and soul and soul healing. That's what I'm talking about. So today, the Ran and Doom Meridians for Balancing Health. What are the Ran and Doom Meridians? So everybody, take your tongue. Uh, touch the roof of your mouth with your tongue. You got it? Are you touching the roof of your mouth? Right? That is a break point in the body in which an energy circle runs around the body. Okay, everybody, I'm going to ask you to do something very uncomfortable now, but no one's watching, so it's okay. I want you to squeeze your anus <clears throat> and then let it go. You don't have to hold on to it for very long. That is another break point in an energy circle that runs around the body. So what is this energy circle? It is called the random do meridian. One half of this meridian runs up one side of the body, up the back side of the body. The other half runs up the front side of the body. But this requires some additional information. So we're going to start with what is a meridian. Many people have heard of meridians. Many people have heard of acupuncture. Many people have heard of acupuncture meridians. Not everybody has received uh, treatments from an acupuncturist. Some people are petrified of needles. And so the amount of information understood about meridians is not that well known. Um, traditional Chinese medicine st uh, goes back at least 5,000 years. And believe it or not, in ancient history, people could see things without using their eyes. <clears throat> Nowadays it's considered rare. They call it third eye. But in traditional, in traditional Chinese medicine, in ancient history, it was not uncommon for people to be able to see through the body. And they were able to see the distribution of energy through the body, through what has been termed energy meridians. Now these meridians have starting points and ending points. They intersect and cross over, and they work throughout the body. And they are unique and specific to organs uh, and to areas of the body. <clears throat> they have beginning and ending points, including the brain, along the spinal column and spinal cord, the tips of the ears, the tips and all aspects of the hand, and the feet. So these are starting and ending points. And they run along the outside of the skin and in through the body, and they connect to the organs which then lead through the spinal cord, spinal column, and connect to the brain, and it all works in one big, amazing, amazing, amazing uh, map. <clears throat> so an energy meridian is a carrier of life force energy. What does that mean? Well, most of us have been on this planet long enough to see a, a body of of someone that is no longer with us on this planet. They have crossed over. If you haven't seen it live, then you've seen it in a video or someplace like that. And they're lifeless. There is no life to it. It's like a, an empty coat. So what then animates the human being? Good question. The soul? Yes. What animates the soul? Heaven and Mother Earth. So we are born by a parent, a yin and yang pair, mother and father, if you will. And that's heaven and mother earth. And they animate us through the energy meridian system, through our chakras and through our energy centers, which there are quite a few energy centers in the bodies that are not known. So in regards to energy meridians though, life force energy comes to us and through us through our 360 degree, degrees, to be frank. <clears throat> but in most teachings, it comes through the crown chakra and through the bottom of the feet, if you think about heaven and mother earth. But we do receive blessings from 360 degrees. This then courses through the <clears throat> meridians of the body. So if you were to see an acupuncturist, how many of you, show of hands, how many of you have seen an acupuncturist before? And then unhappy faces show me how many have not seen an acupuncturist before. What do they do and why does it work? 
<clears throat> along the Synergy Energy Meridian, they have mapped out where it begins and where it ends. You might have, for example, a sore shoulder. And an acupuncturist will, will you know, gently pulsate. And they'll try to figure out where that pain is impacting or where it might be originating. A lot of people don't know, but their shoulders actually have some associations. Thank you for sharing. I see all those faces and thumbs up and unhappy faces. Uh, the shoulders actually have some associations with the intestines in acupuncture, traditional Chinese medicine. So they would look at things very differently than a, a, a modern medical doctor. And so they might uh, put in, let's say, 10 needles, one or two in or on the area where the pain is emanating, <clears throat> probably some back behind the shoulder, and a few along the line of the arm. Where, I don't know, I'm not an acupuncturist, but I've had it received enough to know that that's what they do. And they take them out 20 or 30 minutes later, and we feel better in most cases. So why? How did that work? Well, think of it like a river but instead of a river of water, it's a river of energy. If it were a river of water <clears throat> and it was a straight river with no blockages whatsoever, the water would be rushing through the river unimpeded at a very brisk and fast speed. That's how energy likes to run through our body, at a brisk and fast speed, unencumbered. But <clears throat> because of traumas, physical traumas, emotional, mental traumas, whatever they may be, karma, variety of reasons, the river is in our body where energy normally runs is impeded. Think of beavers building four or five dams along that straight river. What then does the water have to do? It is forced to go around, so it starts creating a meandering effect, which slows down the flow of the water, and it still has to butt up against that, that dam. So what an acupuncturist does, for lack of a better explanation, is when they poke that needle, they're on top of one of those beaver dams. And they break the dam. And then they break the next one, break the next one, break the next one. And therefore, the chi flow of the water, in this example, flows freely again, and people feel wonderful. <clears throat> Why does it break the dam? And how do they know where to put that needle? Because if these, these energy lines are invisible, how do they know? Well. Fortunately, in traditional Chinese medicine, many great sages, many great uh, wise beings could see where the lines were. Now, I have read documented studies where they have <coughs> traced in the physical world uh, where these, they have seen actually now where these meridians are. Uh, they have to be seen under microscope, uh, and it's because of modern medicine that we're, we're actually able to see now but they are trackable and they know where they, where they lead into the organs and whatnot. So that's what an energy meridian is. <clears throat> now, in traditional Chinese medicine, there is also what is called the yin and yang organs. And the organs I'm about to talk about have a direct association to the Ren and Du meridians. So they, uh, in Eastern medicine, they look at pairs, balancing hot and cold, up and down, yin and yang, damp and dry. Uh, the person that's trying to address your health issues from the Eastern medicine side looks at things in terms of balance. And so in terms of the uh, balance for the organs that, that the Ren and Du meridians associate themselves with, <clears throat> there is the liver and the gallbladder. They're a paired organ. They actually stack on top or very close to each other. There is the, and that's the water element, excuse me, the wood element. There is the um, heart, which is the yin organ, and the paired element is actually the small intestine. I remember first hearing them like, what? The small intestine? What does that possibly have to do with the heart? Well, somebody figured out. Remember, they got third eye. They can see these things, and sure enough, uh, these things are associated. And that's the fire element. Another paired organ is called the spleen and the stomach. And this is the earth element. Another paired organ is the lungs. And guess what's connected to the lungs? The large intestine. Most people, when they have you know, problems eating or stomach or belching, or you know, they say, I have stomach problems. 
Well, the stomach is actually on the left side of our body, closer to the side, <clears throat> whereas the intestines are directly in the middle. Some people say, I have a tummy ache or something like that. It's actually the intestines. So they're actually exceedingly important to our health and wellness. They're basically the, the combustion engine that turns uh, food into nutrition. So very important. <clears throat> and that's the metal element. The last paired organ is the kidneys and the urinary bladder. Kidneys are the water element, therefore obviously the bladder is associated with that. And so these work in harmony. And these are obviously very important. The only other important organ that is not mentioned here is the brain. <clears throat> and so the Ren and Du meridians connect to and bring balance to these major, major organs, which have in traditional Chinese medicine a direct association to the five elements, wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. In TCM, it is very important to have harmony amongst the elements. The wood element feeds and nourishes the fire. The fire element breaks down things <clears throat> and brings it back to Mother Earth. Mother Earth is the source from which metal is born. Metal is the source that when and brought together to, carry, to, uh, to form things, uh, can carry and move things like water. And then water feeds and nourishes the wood and so forth. So I can go on and on about five elements. Very basic teaching. So when you work with the Ren and Du Meridian, what in essence are you doing? You are balancing the five elements. You are balancing these very important ten organs. Now there is also two areas of the body that are impacted <coughs> by these meridians. What's an area? An area is a space. Okay, so uh, modern medicine, Western medicine, <laughs> they're like, what? Space? Cut it out. If there's something in that space, just cut it out. But in the East, they look at space as a place where uh, a blockage may be, and it's important to clear that blockage using the methods that they work with. So the, uh, the space in the Ren Meridian, which is the... Um, the Ren, which is the yin, excuse me, the yin organs, which is the liver, sp uh, heart, spleen, lungs, kidneys, that has associations with the, what's called the pericardium. The pericardium, if you look at your heart right here, it's like a space. And this space surrounds your heart. It's not your heart physically. It's literally a space that surrounds your heart. That's called the pericardium. And so there's a meridian that runs around the heart. So that's impacted by the Ren Meridian. Uh, again, for some and that are more familiar with traditional Chinese medicine, the Ren Meridian is also some kind of, sometimes called the Conception Meridian. <coughs> Excuse me. The Du Meridian is the Yang organs, which include the gallbladder, uh, the, um, the small intestine, the large intestine, the stomach, and the um, bladder. And there's also spaces associated with this meridian. <clears throat> the Ren meridian runs up the front of the body. The Du meridian runs up the back of the body. And so um, this, the one that runs up the back of the body, the Du meridian, which is associated to the Yang organs, is actually connected to the, the what's called triple, triple warmer or the three jowls, upper, middle, and lower jowl. Uh, triple warmer, and TCM is what they refer to it, and the three jowls is what Master Shah refers to it as. Uh, what are three jowls? They are the three spaces, uh, three large spaces of the body. So from, from your um, base of your torso up to your belly button is the lower jowl. <clears throat> from your belly button up to the base of your rib cage, which is the diaphragm area, is your middle jowl. And from your diaphragm area to the top of your head is your upper jowl. And in these spaces in Master Shah's uh, wisdom, which he is a traditional Chinese medicine educated doctor. He received his doctorate back in China many, 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 many years ago. And so he brings that wisdom into his books uh, and then teaches us how to apply the four powers and higher level wisdom to the four powers so we can have more out of it. Let me also welcome Lindsay Lay, uh, Gloria, welcome Alan Bell. 
<coughs> Craig Beam, aloha, welcome. Also to Elizabeth Durago. And welcome Janine Wolf. Great to see you here, Janine. Uh, welcome also to Mariana Huerta, uh, Sharon Saxby, Patrick Aberdeen. Aloha and welcome to Agate, Agote, Diane Wooten, Petra Marie. And uh, welcome also to um, Aspasia, Rosemary Mont Montanari. Welcome. Uh, welcome also to Deborah Anderson, Teresa Brady, and Jan Christie. And if I missed anybody, forgive me. Thank you for joining. Thank you for clicking on the share button to let other people know about this. So back to the Dew Meridian, the triple warmer or the three jowls, upper, middle, and lower jowl. These are spaces in the body. And in Master Shah's wisdom, <clears throat> the space is actually the most important area in the body to clear blockages from. Um, the space is what makes 99% of everything, including us. You know, we think we're solid, right? Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. We're 1% matter. The rest, we're our space. And so the space actually carries a huge amount of blockage because chi flows through the space. If chi was flowing throughout the space between our cells, between our, our energy and matter, between our organs, between our systems, if chi was flowing easily and smoothly, we would all be perfectly health free. There would be zero health issues. That's how important space is. So traditional Chinese medicine looks at clearing blockages in the space so that the chi can flow and relative balance can return to the energy and matter that is uh, operating within that space. Okay, so now that's the setup to what you can expect uh, as far as the potential, uh, what, what do these meridians, these energy meridians touch and, and, and why is it important to know what they touch? <clears throat> so the Ren and Du meridians are very important. Uh, what is more important is not the knowledge, it's actually practicing. And so uh, doing practices that Master Shah has placed in his book, and again, this is the book I'm working from. It's called Soul, Mind, Body, Medicine. Uh, when we do these practices, it moves the chi in these meridians. So as a reminder, the Ren Meridian runs up the front of the body. Its starting point is actually in the Kundalini Snow Mountain area. So where is the Kundalini Snow Mountain area? Many of you know, many of you think you know and don't know, and many of you just don't know. So close your eyes, touch your belly button. Your eyes are not closed, I can tell. Close your eyes, touch your belly button. Draw an invisible line inside your body two-thirds of the way back, not all the way to your back, just two-thirds of the way back, straight back, and then drop down about two and a half inches. That point, if you, if you put your fist in there, a fist-sized energy center is called the Snow Mountain area of the Kundalini. And that's the beginning point of this energy meridian. There's a whole level of deeper teachings around that that a person accesses when they go to my um, advanced course. But this is just a little... Uh, tidbit of it. And so it starts there and it drops down to the uh, anus. From the anus it goes up front of the body and goes up right to where I had you touch your tip of your tongue at the roof of your mouth. That's where there's a break point. If some of you have been watching the wisdom and teachings I've been offering for the last year and a half, one of the things that Master Shah brought to uh, all of his students, he said, when you receive a blessing, sit up straight. Bring your back away from the back of the chair. Why? Well, if we're running chi through our body, do you think it might be inhibited if our back's leaning up against the back of the chair? It's not going to allow the chi to flow smoothly, right? So common sense. But he also says, touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Why? Because this is the break point between the Ren and the Du Meridians. There, there is literally a, a point where they don't touch. Now, there's also a break point at the uh, point of the anus. And so uh, it is also suggested that for a few seconds we squeeze and hold the anus and then release to connect. We don't have to do it once. You don't have to hold it the whole time. It could be quite uncomfortable. Hard to be in a nice, relaxed meditation when you're squeezing your anus for a long time. Hopefully that brings a few laughs to you. <clears throat> but um, uh, it's very key, though. Some of these uh, 
simple concepts, very, very basic, but very important. So as we do this practice, of course, you cannot touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth if I'm asking you to chant, uh, you know, a word um, or a mantra. But if you're doing this silently, you can keep your tongue touched to the roof of the mouth, and that will assist you with moving the chi through your body. All right. What happens when we move the chi doing this practice? It invigorates the major organs. And what else does it do? It clears blockages around the pericardium, which will assist your heart. And what else does it do? It clears and it supports in the clearing of blockages in your triple warmer, also known as the three jowls. So it clears blockages in the spaces. So I think it's a very important practice. All right. So let's do it, shall we? See who else may have joined us. <clears throat> Welcome, Pan Gerd. Welcome, Carla. And let's see. I think that's everybody. Okay. Welcome, Angie Taylor. So, what's the first step? Sit up straight, back away from the back of the chair, feet flat on the floor. Connecting Mother Earth's frequencies, Heaven's frequencies, giving ourselves and our body the Optimal conditions to receive heaven's energy. Four power technique, hand power. Where do our hands go for this practice? Okay. So we can place our palms. I'm trying to remember from the teachings from yesterday that I offered. Give me a moment. Yeah. So everybody do this with their hands. Touch your pointing finger, right? Your pointing finger, you're pointing at somebody. Touch it to your thumb. And we're going to turn it like this, okay? You're going to turn it towards you. Now, if you pay attention, as soon as I do this, I instantly feel energy in my fingers. This is called a hand mudra position. And think of it like a wave. You're, the, the energy is going up, over, and out your fingertips, right? So the direction your fingers are pointing is the direction that the energy is moving. In this case, we're going to move it up the body and back down the back side of the body. Up the body and back down the back side of the body. Okay? This is the Ren. Where do we place our hands? So we know about our hand uh, posture, but now we're just going to kind of drop our arms in front of our chest, nice and relaxed, relax your shoulders, and we're going to relax our palms basically uh, under our chin, under our ears. But we're not going to push our hands in. Everything is nice and relaxed, okay? All right, close your eyes. We're going to do soul power. Just relax. Repeat after me. <clears throat> Dear the soul of my Ren Meridian and all of my yin organs and my pericardium, the soul of my hand mudra position and the sound power of Dong, D-O-N-G, Dong, Dong. Dong is the sound power. It means number zero. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. As I hold this hand power position and chant, please clear your blockages. Do a good job. Thank you. Continue to repeat. Dear all the beings of light, my, my heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints, I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Thank you for your presence today. As I do this practice, can you please bless me to clear blockages in my Ren meridians, my associated organs, and pericardium? I am very grateful. Thank you. So we will now uh, chant Dong. That's the sound power. Dong, 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 Dong. And I will lead you. I will chant fast and slow, quiet, out loud. Um, just do your best to follow along. And also visualize a golden light ball going from your snow mountain area down to your anus, up and over the top of your head, back down to the bottom of your body, up and up your front of your body, over the top of your head, back down. Now, when it goes down, it goes down along your spine, back down to your anus, back up the front of your body. So it's not inside your body. It's all along the outside of your body. Okay? That's what you visualize. Light going around the circle. Let us begin. Dong, 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 
どんどんどんどんどんどんどん See the light running around your body. Visualize the light. Do, do, do. <coughs> do, do, do. Do. どんどんどんどんどんどん faster どんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどんどん move the light Dong 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 dong. Again, dong 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 dong. Dong 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 dong. Dong 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 dong. The faster you chant, the faster the light moves. Feel the vibration. Dong 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 Silently, silently repeat after me. Dong 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 dong. See the light going around faster, faster. Dong 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 dong. Up your body, top of your head, back down along your spine, back down to the base. Up your body. Dong 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 dong. Silently. Dong 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 dong. Now turn your hands forward, exact same position, shoulders still relaxed, but now the wave is facing forward. The chi is going from the base of your body and your snow mountain kundalini area down to your anus, up your spinal column, over the top of your head, back down the front of your body, back down to the anus, and it repeats. Dear soul, mind the body of my doom meridian, my six yin organs repeat. Dear soul, my body of my due meridian, my six yin organs, and my triple burner. You have the power to clear your blockages. Do a great job. Thank you. Of course, all the beings of light are serving. <clears throat> Same mantra. Your hands should be facing forward now. Relaxed. Let us continue. Do up the back of the spine. Do. Do 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 do. do. 
Relax your neck and your shoulders. Do. 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 Watch the line go up over the top of your head, back down in front of your body. See the golden light. Do. 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 Dong 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 faster faster move the light faster dong 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 Silently Silently, dong 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 faster faster, dong 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 Ha ha <clears throat> Thank you thank you thank you So everybody returned How was that experience check in notice if any particular areas of your body is vibrating Double check how are things going were you more tired before now you're more awake were you um, did you have pain in some place before and now you don't. Do you have a headache now before you didn't? Like my head's actually a little, just a, like a number one on a 10 scale because chi is moving. <clears throat> so I look forward to reading your sharing about doing this practice. This is known by many, many different names. This uh, is used in the, some Taoist traditions. It's called the microcosmic circuit. So this wisdom is very, 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 very old. And in some of the traditions, they just use it to move chi, through, chi throughout the body, you know, keep it in a circle. <clears throat> some use it for sexuality and improving uh, sexual function. In traditional Chinese medicine, they recognize its connectivity to the major 12 organs, the major 10 organs, excuse me, and the uh, pericardium and triple burner. <clears throat> so there is a lot of different uh, slices of wisdom that go along with this, and you can certainly learn a lot more about it if you wanted to do your own homework. I see that uh, Tatiana said her feet were shaking, like something moved out of her body. Certainly very, very possible. The... Uh, the Ran and Du meridians do send chi flow down the legs, and, and uh, if there's blockages, it would be released out the bottom of the feet. If you look on your palm, you know, it's kind of like a circular point right here on your palm uh, where it's raised around the outside edges. Same as on your feet, there's the, the ball of your foot, and then there's the, the front part of your foot that the toes connect to, and there's a, a dip in that area there. 
and that's called the bubbling springs point or the K1 point in acupuncture. And that's, uh, uh, it's called bubbling springs because if you actually are, are, are doing some significant release, you'll actually feel energy vibrating right there, like there's a, a, a little ant walking on the bottom of your foot right in that one point. It's quite interesting. <clears throat> um, so it's possible that energy is left. Lisa says, thank you, Master Paul, feeling gratitude and much lighter. You're welcome, Lisa. And Lindsay Lay, her lower back is a little pain and her head feels tight at the crown. Aha, very good observation, Lindsay. Um, yeah, and this is what she is trying to flow. So I do recommend continuing to do this another uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, you could be very surprised how things move through and you feel much, much better. Janice Crosby, fingertips are vibrating. Angie, uh, thank you for the blessings. Patrick Aberdeen, uh, can't connect or pick it up. It seems to not be working. Do I need a different environment maybe? Why well, I may get lost somewhere? Or, um, <clears throat> yeah, probably rewatch the video. That'll make a difference. It does help to be in a quiet zone because it is a bit of a, a quiet practice, a meditative practice. Uh, Spasia, same here, slight headache. Uh, seeing gold, slight pink, and violet light expanding outward in wheel mode. Great. Uh, Kathy can't stop laughing. That's a good thing. Theresa Brady, she felt amazing energy flow. Great. Vibration up the spine, says Dimple. Um, and Ellie said, made her sleepy, and uh, her Aussie body started whimpering. I think that's her, her dog. And then uh, Heather McNeese said she felt tingling going up the back of the... Uh, back and then down the front and feels a fuzziness in her head. Uh, she was having a lot of sinus pain and it feels better. Great, great, great sharing. <clears throat> Yolanda, there was a slightly different sound coming out of mouth, but the right side of the head is tingling and she liked it. She got into the zone as they'd say. That does happen. Dong, 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 dong. You can get into the zone with this. Uh, and Theresa says, thank you so much. I feel amazing still feeling the energy flowing. Yeah, this is this is ancient wisdom uh, just brought to the to the forefront. Um, I certainly didn't invent it, but it is very powerful wisdom. And there's a reason why Tai Chi and Qi Gong is used, and in, in, in many places in China, it, that is the entire hospital. Qi, qi Gong and Tai Chi, that's the whole hospital. They don't do anything else, and people get better often. You know, they have a very, they have much higher ratio than in America where we force feed them drugs and cut things out. Uh, why? <laughs> because we're energy beings, right? We have to be animated by uh, the source. And that animation comes through our chakras, our energy meridians, and our energy uh, uh, centers. And so the more we learn, the more we learn. The more we practice, the better the results. So I hope you enjoyed today's teaching. I enjoyed uh, teaching it. I always learn when I teach, so that's a good thing. <clears throat> and I look forward to continuing to serve you. I'm going to give you guys a, a couple week notice here, a little heads up, that um, in the second week of next month, so I, I'm going to hear like from at least five of you, when? When are you going? The middle of February, okay? I'll be gone for about a week. I'll be in Canada with Master Shah. And so uh, uh, for those that I that I do my ongoing uh, open spiritual channels class of course that's not going to change those classes will still continue but the live streams will stop for about a week maybe nine days okay so a little forewarning so thank you thank you thank you to divine Tao source all the beings of light thank you thank you thank you love you love you love you to all divine Tao source to all the beings of light <clears throat> and we ask all of them to respectfully return gong song gong song gong song so thank you everybody for coming and sharing and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.